if you compare like your life three years in Indonesia and three years in Malaysia, what's like the biggest differences, let's say? I think the biggest difference is that... Um... Do you think that life in KL is easier than life in Jakarta? But let's say the quality uh, of life, I might say Malaysia will, will beat. Hai, hello guys, what's up? Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera semuanya Apa kabar ya teman-teman sahabat Semoga selalu dalam keadaan baik Dan semoga selalu dipermudahkan segala urusannya Amin, amin, ya rabbal alamin Oke okay guys, bertemu lagi dan lagi ya Harap-harap kalian tidak akan pernah bosan ya Dan thank you yang sudah support selama ini cuy. Jadi luar biasa anda Pokoknya awesome guys ya Yang jelas kita doa sama-sama Agar kita ini selalu diberikan kebahagiaan ya Dunia dan akhirat guys Oke di sini ada salah satu video yang cukup menarik ini guys ya Sebab ini pengalaman orang bule cuy ya Setelah aku buka linknya itu Jadi thank you ya sudah memberikan link video-video menarik di DM Instagram ya guys ya Dan ini ternyata adalah channel daripada Max Kernov guys ya Jadi dia ini selalu interview bule yang duduk di Malaysia ataupun di Indonesia cuy ya jadi seperti apa videonya mari kita sama-sama saksikan nah ini dia guys ya link ada di description box jika kalian pengen nonton videonya langsung oke tak perlu belengah masa lagi ya is Indonesia better than Malaysia for life ya jadi seperti apa menarik kan guys ya sebab kita bisa tengok e, gaya hidup ya cukup makanannya seperti apa dan pastinya kosnya lah yang jelas guys ya apakah Indonesia lebih murah ataupun Malaysia lebih mahal ya mari sama-sama kita saksikan guys ya oke tak perlu belengah masa lagi langsung aja kita play videonya bismillah and play main thing what I love in Malaysia is love food addicted with food I love to eat so um, every one of them are having so much fun to take me to all those local shops and I really enjoy it the food is great meet Laura an Estonian who lived in Laura Indonesia for two years here. before moving to Malaysia where she's been for three years now Laura shared why Indonesia offers better customer service than Malaysia the cost of living a good life in Kuala Lumpur and tips on making friends with Malaysians. I'm Max Chernoff, uh, just from across the bridge. Let's go. This is the latest statement of uh, State of Heart. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's, I think BNB. it's not ready yet, really fully, but it's apparently yeah. 106 stories tall, which is almost Burj Khalifa. <laughs> like really. It's the second tallest. Second yeah. tallest in, in yeah. the region, yeah. yeah then we have those yeah. fantastic Petronas Khalifa, towers yeah. there showing a little bit on the side so you can't really kind of uh, see the full two towers. What would your advice to someone who moved to here? Just come and enjoy the ride. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's uh, really easy to fall in love in KL and have <laughs> very easy. good time here. I think it's a really welcoming city for foreigners. If you go to the city center you would you would get some sense of like um, you have sidewalks you have different bars and restaurants mm -hmm. you have nice buildings let's say we talk about accommodations as per se right you have everything yeah. uh, included in your gondo which you would never get in Europe uh, mm. so you can have really really good life here with affordable price mm. uh, very reasonable price compared to Jakarta for example KL is cheaper? Yes, with property wise, property wise. I, for, for property. Uh -huh. I think at least 30 to 40 percent it's higher in there, uh, in Jakarta. What would be the monthly budget for like, let's say for one person or for two person, for, for a couple, like roughly? I would say you can get by, it's gonna be super whatever number right now, I'm just thinking uh, roughly, it's really a rough number. Yeah. I think around um, 1,500 euros would be really enough. For one? Um, can be two, yeah, because you can uh, squeeze in the second one. <laughs> yeah, because basically, like you, you, you would split uh, if you yeah. split the cost of living and uh, like, say accommodation and yeah. you eat out, let's say, a lot. Uh, this is like you know when you splurge, I would say. So yeah. and you go buy a lot of groceries and then leave them to rot in your fridge, then you would go five thousand yeah. five hundred, I think. If you're just let's say two singles or or let's say without kids or family. How's your social circle look like in Kiel? I would say 70% um, local, 30% expat. I guess it's uh, when you move to another country, it's it's always easier to get along with other expats because you would nah, be yeah, able yeah, to yeah. share yes. whatever troubles you go through. But some reason, when I moved here, I had two friends, both of them were local. Mm -hmm. They were actually acquaintances. Mm -hmm. And then they put me in touch with one, two people, and then I developed my circle. 
yeah. within one month. I was really lucky because mm. it was also COVID time, so it wasn't really uh. welcoming for social gatherings and socializing. Yeah. Main thing what I what mm. love in Malaysia is I love food. <laughs> Addicted with food. Yeah. I love to eat, so um, every one of them are having so much fun to take me to all those local shops and, um, yeah. and I really enjoy it. The yeah. food is great. What's your favorite Malaysian food? Let's say top three. Favorite oh, Malaysian food. I do love sate. Yeah. Oh, okay. sate. Malaka, sate. It's okay, it's okay. Malaka. <laughs> really love it. Because it's confusing in a way because it's also in Indonesia, right? So it's ah, in yeah, also in Singapore. True. Fish and curry is also in Indonesia. So it's kind of really hard, right? I can never say no to a good pan mi. Oh, mm. that's yeah, the curry. <laughs> That area is my favorite. There, you can see um, there's the local kind of central market, the blue uh -huh. one there. Yeah. And uh, that area is Chinatown. Um, yeah, actually. I just came from there. Yeah, it's, it's the great. Architecture is like so, so nice. And the so good food places as well. Right? <laughs> walking, walking around there, like discovering small handcraft shops, and, uh -huh. and I really love to go to the, those kind of uh, uh, local crafteries and mm. shops there mm. where, where you can uh, yeah. see yeah. how they make it their own hands, and it's really, yeah. really cool. If you compare like your life three years in Indonesia and three years in Malaysia, what's like the biggest difference? I think the biggest difference is that um, here's a much calmer life for me. Uh, mm. It's uh, much more, like, much more structured. Things work in mm. certain ways you get to do long. Yeah. In Indonesia, it was, uh, I love to call uh, it as, as beautiful madness. It's yeah. like, it's really <laughs> nice and really great, but um, there's always those little tweaks in there where you need to wrap your brain around how things actually work. Yeah. And then you need to kind of um, get to know the local ways to uh, survive. <laughs> like what? Can you give an example? Oh, for example, how to get around in Jakarta. If you are meeting up with friends, then you better just dress up uh, so that you can uh, you can uh, grab a bike, motorbike. <laughs> because <laughs> going with a car will take you an hour and a half. Yeah. So uh, with motorbikes uh, is your way of travel, for example. Uh, Gojek, they call Gojek, it. Gojek, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was quite fun. In the, end of the, in the end of those years, I had my own Gojek jacket as well that I usually uh, just <laughs> grab and put it on. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that life in KL is easier than life in Jakarta? No. No? No. Oh. I think life in Indonesia is much more convenient. Uh, oh. Let's say in terms of services and everything, uh -huh. like, like if we go to vanities, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. you can order everything inside. You can have your uh -huh. nails done, massage done, everything comes to your home and it's all with one nap and it's very... Um, service oriented. Yeah, yeah, very service oriented and you, you, you have um, locals who are serving you and really like that's really convenient. Yeah. Um, but let's say the quality uh, of life, I might say Malaysia will, will beat a bit. Yeah, the quality of life you mean? Like that the air is clean and um, mm -hmm. the water is not that poisonous uh, okay. as it is in Indonesia. Uh, so you mean drinking drink water? Like, uh, I mean, tap water. Like, yeah. I mean, whether you wash your hair and everything. Can you drink tap water no. here? here. Uh, in here, I think technically you can, but no one does. That's at least what I, what I know. So uh -huh. I don't drink tap water, but at least I don't... Um, I'm not afraid to, to like brush, your teeth brush my teeth with yeah. it, right? But if I would do this in Indonesia, I would get seriously sick. By the years, like if, you, if you're gonna be there for five, six, seven years, you develop those uh, resistances. Yeah. <laughs> Resistance to some of those, the most common yeah. terms. But if you go as a freshman from Europe, then um, yeah. might be a bit tough, tricky. Should be really careful. What about people, like if you compare Indonesians and Malaysians? I think very similar. Both are so warm and um, such welcoming. In Malaysia, what I love about here is you get so many different cultures together, really. Mm -hmm. like, you know, we have Chinese and Malay culture, Indian culture, yeah. and you have those expert groups. And it's really like distinctive and you can experience it all. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Indonesia, they are just the sweetest, most welcoming people you can ever have. When I moved to Jakarta, then I uh, lived in a very local kind of, they call it Costco Sun. I had a room Cusco without the window. Yeah. <laughs> without the window. Okay. Without the window, okay. but I had <laughs> cleaning <laughs> every day. Uh -huh. <laughs> Plus laundry done. That was something also very different, right? But uh, the whole, like the Costco Sun, which is like a, what do you say? Like, a, yeah, 
place where you rent the room, basically. Mm. Uh -huh. um, and, and, and then um, it's run by Ibu Ibu, who is the Ibu. person who takes care of the, the mm -hmm. whole thing while people are there. Yeah. So uh, we got to cook together. I showed her mm -hmm. my like recipe. She sh showed me how to cook uh, Indonesian okay. dishes. Um, helped me around, but we, we didn't speak same language, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it was me trying with I my Bahasa so, Indonesia yeah, I that so. I needed to pick up really fast as well okay. to live there. And uh, and um, she trying a little bit with English, and that's how we lived. Do you use Bahasa in Malaysia? Yeah, in here I use Bahasa Indonesia. <laughs> in the, um, sometimes get by, but I'm not really well versed with Bahasa Malayu yet. Is it very different? Not too different, as they say. Yeah. Uh, I haven't kind of digged into that language that much. It's very many words are the same, the basics are the same, so, yeah. so that, well, that's how I can get by. And people like, how, how Malaysians react when you start speaking Bahasa Indonesia? Oh, they're like, what? <laughs> He's a Bahasa Malay. <laughs> very sweet, very sweet. Okay, they okay, start okay. to talk to you even more in Bahasa Malay, <laughs> and then I can also catch it because I, I can understand a little bit more than I can speak. Uh, yeah. And then I just try to put those words together, and it's really cool. And then they, then it comes to speak Chinese, <laughs> to speak Tamil. I'm like, <laughs> no, <laughs> let's <laughs> let's hold it there. I guess it's sound. And this is the Kiel Central. Yeah, yeah. This is the main station. Yeah. Yes. You can go to Start airport from here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And fly off. <laughs> I just today, uh, first time I fly to the second one. What's the, not the main airport? K KLA 2, uh, right? No, no, no. Oh, the the, 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 that is uh, in the sun. city center, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, so. Su Su Subang. 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 Yeah, yeah, Subang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, pretty cool, actually. It's a, it's a time saver. It, exactly. So I'm thinking it's to a save the tiny, tiny, tiny airport. It was like I spent maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. Like the border crossing was super fast. I was yes. like, oh, wow. I know, I'm going to do that. Whenever I'm going to come to Singapore, I'm going to do that. That, that, uh, yeah. But how was the plane? Like, I mean, it's with the propellers. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> they're, they're tiny, super tiny. Yeah, super, yeah, tiny yeah. super tiny, yeah. Yeah, I feel so like I'm so <laughs> Helsinki, Helsinki, Estonia line is the same with yeah, like small like propellers. Yeah, yeah, with propellers, yeah. <gasps> yeah, but uh, this is KL. Welcome, cool. everyone. Cool. Come and check it out. You're such a kind and enjoyable person. Thanks so much for deciding to watch more videos on my channel. I like you a lot. Yes, you. See you there. <laughs> Click on it. Oke okay guys ya sangat menarik sekali ya dan banyak sekali video-video daripada Max Kernov ini sebab beliau ini selalu interview para foreigner yang memang sudah menetap di Malaysia ataupun di Indonesia ataupun di Singapura ya pasti di ASEAN lah tentunya sebab ya itu tadi guys ya keunikan ya culture itu kan pasti berbeda dengan negara Eropa ya apalagi untuk mata uangnya lebih murah gitu jadi kalau dibandingkan di Eropa ya pasti di sini dapat banyak sekali fasilitas gitu ya dan dia kalau di Indonesia ini eh, enaknya itu kayak home care itu datang ke rumah langsung itu sebab banyak sekali kan ibu-ibu yang memang eh, apa masas dan juga buku dan juga pijat itu kan semuanya itu bisa datang gitu bisa diundang langsung ke rumah gitu guys dan itu biayanya cukup murah dan untuk orangnya juga Uh, apa ya guys ya ramah-ramah juga dan menurut ini kalau dibandingkan di Malaysia ya agak berbeda sedikit lah guys ya sebab kalau di Malaysia ini orangnya lebih untuk kemudahan yang seperti masa panggil ke rumah itu tidak ada gitu guys ya mungkin mungkin ada tapi tidak banyak lah tapi kalau di Indonesia kan banyak dan selalu kumpul ibu-ibu juga kalau di Indonesia dan dia ngekos guys yang dimana kos-kosan ini satu bilik itu tidak ada tingkatnya gitu guys ya dan Ya memang kalau di Jakarta ini kan e, untuk kehidupan itu memang agak mahal guys ya Mungkin kalau bagi aku sih menurut aku pribadi dibandingkan dengan KL itu KL lebih murah lah Seperti apa yang dikatakan oleh e, bule ini guys ya Sebab dia sudah 3 tahun di e, Indonesia dan 2 tahun di Malaysia guys Pasti dia sudah merasai gitu dan untuk orang-orangnya itu kan di Indonesia ini agak sibuk cuy ya Dan berbagai jenis apa ya guys ya kesibukan itu ada dan kayak kedai-kedai uh, di tepi jalan itu kan banyak banget gitu guys ya tapi kalau di Malaysia lebih clean, lebih bersih, tertata itulah yang dirasakan oleh bule ini guys ya dan uh, kenapa banyak sekali bule-bule ini pilih menetap di Asia guys ya padahal kalau di Eropa kan 
uh, dia sudah enak gitu ya tapi ya namanya dia pengen belajar lagi ingin mengetahui culture orang Asia ini seperti apa dan ternyata dia cocok gitu loh di Malaysia itu cocok banget bahkan dia suka makanannya itu suka banget ya sate tadi yang tidak suka pan mie guys ternyata <laughs> padahal biasanya kan bule-bule juga suka itu mie ya tapi ternyata suka sate guys tapi kalau sate ini kan uh, kuliner nusantara cuy ya jadi di Indonesia ada di Malaysia ada di Singapura juga ada guys ya kayak sate kajang sate ayam itu tapi sate di Malaysia ini kan agak besar-besar cuy kalau kita melihat orang vlog ataupun orang review makanan itu kan berbeda gitu dia besar-besar banget dan itu rempah-rempahnya terasa ya dan dia kan suka di Malaysia ini sebab culture dia ada Tamil ada Chinese jadi dia bisa lebih ini guys ya lebih menikmati suasananya dan juga lebih menikmati makanan-makanan gitu ya tradisional mereka itu kan banyak banget gitu loh guys ya kalau di Indonesia juga banyak tapi kan ya kita harus keliling juga kan luas gitu loh guys ya tapi kalau di Malaysia kan ini hampir merata cuy jadi untuk makanan tiga etnis ini tiga bangsa ini kan kita bisa dapatkan di KL di mana-mana lah sebab kan udah bercampur ya setiap negeri itu pasti ada gitu dan bule ini cukup ya pengalamannya cukup menarik guys ya jadi boleh menjadi referensi kita ataupun uh, orang-orang yang di luar sana ya bahkan dia mengalu-alukan gitu ya untuk foreigner datang menempati ataupun tinggal di Malaysia gitu guys ya sebab ya apalagi dia tinggal tadi kan di atas KL Central cuy jadi di tengah-tengah ibu kota ya dan itu apartemen dan di situ apartemen guys ya sepertinya ya sebab uh, kalau kita nampak kan ada swimming pool dan view-nya cantik banget ya di depan KLCC dan juga PNB cuy jadi keren banget sih itu adalah impian semua orang sih pasti ya duduk di situ gitu loh guys ya tapi kebanyakan orang Malaysia ini lebih suka duduk di tanah sendiri betul saja sebab itu kan banyak sekali rumah-rumah bunga lo gitu guys ya yang besar-besar itu Melayu juga banyak di situ guys jadi apa pandangan kalian guys ya berikan komentar terbaik anda kalau bagi aku sih sangat menarik pengalaman-pengalaman seperti ini memberi wawasan yang baru untuk kita semuanya guys ya so berikan tinggalkan komenan anda guys jadi thank you yang sudah memberikan link video ini dan thank you juga sudah menonton video ini jumpa di video selanjutnya peace love and respect from Indonesia Assalamualaikum bye bye